Projectile motion deals with the physics aerospace engineers back in the day had to use, when rockets were more likely to crash and engineers had to make sure they didn't land somewhere in Japan and trigger something like World War II. In ways, projectile motion is like a packet of migoreng. It gives you numbers, you plug in those numbers, and you get a perfect score of a meal. It's pretty hard not to do well in it, unless you burn the noodles, forget to take out the water, or spill all the seasonings onto the ground. The foundations of projectile motion are simple. You throw something up and across, and it falls down. In the real world, air resistance will act on the projectile, causing five changes. Time of travel increases, range increases, asymmetrical path, velocity of landing decreases, and height decreases. A mnemonic to remember these by is Tsuyu's ripe ass is very hot. However, waste is easy, so we ignore air resistance. To answer a projectile motion question, you will set out two areas, horizontal and vertical. This is because you will regard motion of any kind in its two components separately. For example, if you throw a cat at 10 meters per second at 50 degrees to the horizontal, it will travel at 10 cos 50 degrees meters per second horizontally, cos it's adjacent and 10 sine 50 degrees meters per second vertically, because it's a sin to have an opinion opposite to mine. Horizontal deals with any movement horizontally. There is constant velocity due to no acceleration, so it uses the equation s equals vt, where s is displacement in meters, v is velocity in meters per second, and t is time taken in seconds. Vertical deals with any vertical movement. There is acceleration due to gravity, so it uses the following equations. v equals u plus at, v squared equals u squared plus 2as, s equals ut plus half at squared, and s equals half u plus v times t, where v is the final velocity, or vinyl velocity, in meters per second, u is initial velocity, or initial velocity, in meters per second, time is time taken in seconds, s is displacement in meters, and a is acceleration in meters per second squared. Take acceleration as negative 9.8 meters per second squared, because that is gravity, and gravity acts down. Unless the question specifies something else like, when you're United Airlines and you assault your airplane passenger, because the gravity of that situation is huge. The only variable that can be applied to both equations equally is time. For your sake, assume all motions forward and up are positive values, and all motions backward and down are negative values. The question will give you enough information to fill in some numbers, leaving you to solve for the others and obtain your answer. Congratulations! You now have enough knowledge to solve most waste physics projectile motion questions. So let's go through an example question, pulled from a 2016 waste paper. Your name is Dylan. You are 23 years old and you failed projectile motion in high school. This led to you getting an ATAR below 90, resulting in your Asian mum disowning you. In shame and fear of derogation by your fellow 99 clubbers, you deleted all social networking accounts except for MySpace, disconnecting you from society. The subsequent crippling depression prevented you from entering university, and you instead chose to work at McDonald's. Now a six-year employee, you have worked your way up to head cashier, and use your hard-earned salary to rent an apartment flat and buy migoreng for your daily sustenance. One weekend, you lazily gaze outside your apartment window, which is on the second top floor of the building, 21 meters above ground level. You insisted on renting on the highest floor to compensate for your position in the hierarchy of society, but couldn't afford the enlarged living space on the top floor of flats. To your surprise, you spot your high school crush down below, precisely on the opposite side of the street from your window. Memories flood your mind as you recall how you first met when she caught you spying on her practicing her choreography to K-pop her awkward highs when you greeted her in the hallway, and how you offered to help her study projectile motion, and she got a perfect score in the test. You gaze dejectedly as you remember how you were about to give her one of those candy rings and ask her out, but you got your ATAR back and gave up. Since you only had MySpace left, you were never able to contact her again. But what is this? You see her chatting happily with some guy, whom you refuse to admit is exceedingly handsome as they drink bubble tea. In your point of view, he is standing behind your crush, 14 meters away from the base of your building. You assume she bought kumquat lemon tea with sago. That was her favorite, as you determined by rummaging through the receipts she threw away that you happened to come across. Suddenly, your eyes widen and become bloodshot as you witness her pull her luscious hair back across her ear, lean over, and take a sip of the undoubtedly superior guy's bubble tea. Enraged that he let her drink from the same straw, you quickly grab the machete you used to open your migoreng packets, head to the window, and activate your aimbot. 
At what velocity and in which direction should you throw the machete? The machete needs to be traveling at 20 meters per second at 50 degrees below horizontal to impale a human skull directly into their brain. So let's apply. Firstly, you must ignore all the useless information in the text and pick out the important numbers. Next, draw a diagram of the situation. We are particularly interested in the final velocity as it is given to us and the initial velocity as that is the answer we must determine. Let the initial velocity be x and the direction it is thrown to be theta. From final velocity, we can see that horizontal velocity is 20 cos 50 meters per second and vertical velocity is negative 20 sine 50 meters per second. Using the horizontal equation s equals vt, we can find the time taken if wanted. However, of interest is that horizontal velocity is always the same. Therefore, x cos theta is equal to 20 cos 50 meters per second. Moving on to vertical, list all variables you know. S equals negative 21 meters, A equals negative 9.8 meters per second squared, V equals negative 20 sine 50 meters per second, and U equals X sine theta. The equation relating these is V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. Plug in the above numbers and simplify, leaving you with X squared sine squared equals negative 176.8976. From the prior equation of x cos theta equals 20 cos 50, we can get x equals 20 cos 50 over cos theta. Substitute this back into the equation above. This gives you sine squared theta over cos squared theta equals negative 1.07. Sine squared theta over cos squared theta is the same as tan squared theta. Take the square root of 1.07, you can ignore the negative as this deals with squaring, and then its inverse tangent to find theta, which is 46.0 degrees. Substitute theta back into the x cos theta equals 20 cos 50 equation to find x, which is 18.5 meters per second. Congratulations on completing debatably the hardest projectile motion question Waze could ask you. Finish with a sentence answer. Therefore, you would throw the machete at 46.0 degrees above horizontal, at a velocity slightly below 18.5 meters per second. Because if you can't have her, no one can. Therefore, you would throw the machete at 46.0 degrees above horizontal, at a velocity slightly below 18.5 meters per second. Because no one should be drinking lemon kumquat bubble tea.